Hello and welcome back for episode 7 of the Heir of Ruthenia, where we're playing as Kiev in EU4 with the Antebellum mod, with their newest uh, minor update, where um, they've updated the entire uh, Ruthenian region. Um, we are playing as Kiev, we are a theocracy, we have grown quite large at this point, we have fought back the Golden Horde, we have taken over a very large chunk of the region, as you can already see, and we just won our first major war against Novgorod, the other ma major power in the region. Uh, we can go ahead and do our Conquer Novgorod mission, which will give us uh, plus 15% trade efficiency, one year worth of trade income, and permanent claims on Finland, South Karelia, and Ostrobothnia. And then we just need to go after Nitsny Novgorod. So we have a truce with them. Oh yeah, that's right, because we I forgot we were supposed to take these provinces in that last war with the Golden Horde. The truce is almost over though, so we have to wait about a year. And then we can attack them. And get what we need there. Uh, seizing land at the moment would cause some slight issues, but it shouldn't be too bad because we got to do this. The other thing I just remembered is we took this province and I started coring it. We don't want to core this province. What we wanted to do was release Smolensk. So that'll give us some more cores to reconquer from them. And Palans, we need to improve our relations back up with you. Okay, hold on. We need to do this. Sure, that'll give us a new diet. Make Theodora a subject. Get a workshop here. Uh, subjugating Theodoro. They're kind of big. I don't think I could do it diplomatically easily. So it would require a war, and they're allied to Bulgaria. We'll just build the workshop, and then we will seize land. And then probably go with the Gozra, or Gozra Zane, however you pronounce it. I should go ahead and enforce Unity of Faith, which will allow us to convert these just that little bit faster. And then, um... What else do we want to do? Palons. I was trying to vassalize Palons. So if I send them a gift, small gift of 25 ducats, we are improving relations with them as well. Then I say, hey, give me some trade power. And there we go. That's enough. And boom, vassal, perfect. Now we need to take care of these separatists. We'll send this army down there, and then this army can go stand on our capital. This army can just stand up here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we want to use our favors with you to get our provinces back for our subjects. So, uh... That's a lot of provinces, huh? Start with, uh... Zolnik. I 
and now we're waiting for about a little over more, one year and we'll be able to do that we can take a new government reform yearly corruption and all estates influence stability cost and culture conversion cost yearly army tradition leaders without upkeep or global trade power merchant trade power I think I might just do the corruption reduction. The trade power is neat, but this overall is just going to make my states a little more loyal and give us a few more benefits. Siege Engineer has passed away. I'm still struggling quite a bit with money. Cleaning up my forts a little bit might be enough. Like maybe get rid of this one on Tver. Maybe get rid of this one on Yuriev. Because the Moscow one and the Yaroslav one communicate well. They're not in the best position anyway, but... Okay. I think the rest are worth keeping for the time being. Uh, we can stop focusing on doing that. We'll bring this army up here and get them ready for any conflict we might get into. Permian Separatists. How much you deal with the Permian Separatists? You can repay that loan. I cannot afford to lose stability right now. I guess we'll lose some prestige. can bring you down here bring you over here let's get you up here I would very much like to pounce on these guys and let's make sure we're using our diplomats effectively and then we immediately will attack these guys Thought it said our truce was up. Oh, did I misread that? I guess I misread it. I must have been looking at the wrong wrong thing. I was gonna say that was kind of fast for the truce to be up. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that tech. I guess we'll go with the unrest. What I should do is get this gold mine leveled up and then we'll be in good shape money wise. Let me go ahead and hand out some land rights. The land rights will at the very least get us under governing cap for a little bit longer. And then we are definitely going to encourage development here. And I know I'm working on a Diplo group, but...
getting a little bit of gold flowing into our country is going to be useful for us. Having our gold mine immediately get taken by rebels is not going to be useful for us. It looks like the Golden Horde finally broke through. That's fine, we can fight the Golden Horde again. That is a no issue with me. We'll take military tech. Our manpower pool's finally recovering. I thought we would be fine on Moscow. I guess I want you down on Kiev then. And we can curry favors with these guys. So we're going to be wanting to use those favors. Now that we're making money, we can go ahead and go with a advisor. And we should continue converting provinces as well. I'm going to go ahead and boost stability. And we are almost up to our truce with the Golden Horde. And now that they have reclaimed their subject, we will be able to immediately attack these boys. Claim what we want and take care of them. That's going to be more siege ability for us. Um, I'm going to stop targeting allies for now. I'll take the devotion. But if I build up a spy network on here, so if you don't know, building up a spy network will improve your siege ability. So since we are really focused on sieging, the more we can siege, the better. Well, I guess the faster we can siege, the better is realistically what we're saying. Go ahead and take care of those rebels. We can raise Streltsy. I don't know if I want to yet. Um... I think we're doing pretty good still on our troops, and I don't think there's a concern. We can use the Streltsy later if we need to. Convert Perm. Let's take the influ Influential Trade Family. I guess we're losing 10 Devotion. I am not taking a stab loss right now. Let's go ahead and get another core province back. How about something like Pestbuden? And is that our truce? October. So come October, we can attack them again and get those last provinces we wanted. And we'll just extend those loans. We can seize land. We are totally good to seize land, so let's do it. Uh, over here, while I'm thinking about it, let's just do... Um, now we'll just do no effect. That's fine. Good harvest. Good old chunk of money. Perfect for me. Golden Horde has no allies because nobody likes you. How sad. How sad for you. If I attack these guys with the Unite the Roos, I think that is good for us. Or no, that would just give us the reduction on there. You know what? I'm going to go for the Reconquest CB and then... Um, 
we will come back at them for everything else. So you get on there, you get on here, you boys get on the capital. Uh, I think a merchant son is in order. Since we are still working on some monetary issues. He's not good, but he is something. Pay back some more loans. Get some more Diplo points. guess that's fine. I feel like our generals have lived for quite a long time. let that army work on autonomous sieging and this army will why don't you march all the way over here let's get some more exploration done I don't know if they have any more forts I mean the Seljuks have a fort but outside of that one I don't think they have anything else And you're going to want to get down on that fort, that's for sure. We'll be able to grow our vassal Kazan quite large. I guess that's not their province. Maybe it's someone else's. Okay, good. They have no army, so... Pretty much have this all wrapped up. basically let my subjects handle what's left my subjects and allies I guess okay 99 percenting them so we get Kazan their provinces back I would like, what, these two? And then, uh... We're gonna want no guy. So we can release no guy from there. Guess we'll take a diplomat with some advisor cost reduction. Sounds good. Um, and then what do you think? A humiliation and a little bit of money? Come back for them again later? Yeah, we, we've got the golden horde up, up against the ropes at this point. They are, they are very weak. So we can do Eastern Principalities, which will give us uh, a okay, an aggressive expansion impact reduction. 
Here we need to form Roos. Liberate the wild fields. Plus 20% co cavalry combat ability and 15,000 cavalry. All provinces in the Crimea area under my control. Twenty-five prestige and all their cores will permanently remove from the map. Okay. So we're basically gonna have to turn our backs on our allies at this point. I mean, it's not a big deal. We have them pretty wrapped up. Uh, the Lendians, we should be able to vassalize at some point. So, we're going to trade favors for trust with you. Tarov, I'm going to go ahead and break alliance with. Wait, did that say Golden Horde gains a claim on Circassia? Or did I gain a claim on Circassia? Or did they sell the I don't I don't even know. You boys You don't like me? Moravia, we were bros. We are definitely bros. You're gonna not want my subject provinces, man. Don't make me turn on you. Because I will. I, I really don't care. I guess I'm going to turn on them. The Lendians will keep. I guess we can stop carrying favors with them. We'll just take the provinces back by force. Uh, we should core those last two provinces. We should sell, or we, we should build this workshop, right? Let's build this workshop. And then let's continue getting our loans under control. I guess we should ally Sweden then. Oh, Tarov, we don't need military access through anymore. I've had that military access for I don't even know how long. Golden Horde's no longer a valid rivalry. Andalusia, Lothgaringia, Moravia. Well, Moravia... I hate to do it. You, you made me do it. You made me. I can't believe you made me do it. It was rude. But it happened. So, we've got a truce with Novgorod for quite a while. Quite a while. So yeah, at this point we're just kind of playing the waiting game a little bit. We've finished enforcing the unity of our faith. I guess because we're a Russian principality we cannot upgrade, or no, we can. It's just that we don't have enough provinces yet. Alright, so we should probably look to build up some spy networks on you. Lendians, I really would like you to break your alliance with Turov. And then Donzig. And Pomerania. 
You're allied with Bohemian Valetti. I'm going to make sure that Polans is doing what they can there. Novgorod also owns Gotland, eh? Berg is still the Holy Roman Emperor. But yeah, I think that's a good place to end this episode since the other one went a little long. Go a little short in the next one. That's kind of how I tend to do it. So if you like the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really like the episode, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.